Hi, everybody. I am Miss Kelly, and I work at the South Bowie branch of the Prince George's County Memorial Library System. Welcome to STEM at Home. Today, we are going to learn about cicadas, and I will show you how to make your very own cicada friend. If you haven't been living underground for the last 17 years, you've probably heard that the cicadas are coming. So what are cicadas? And what's the big fuss all about? Let's see. Well, adult cicadas are large, clumsy, flying insects. They are, for the most part, harmless to people, uh, plants and property as well. There are hundreds of species of cicadas within two types either the dog day or annual cicada, or the periodical cicadas. They mostly live their lives underground, feeding on tree sap. They only emerge to mate and lay their eggs. So why the fuss? Well, some of us are going to see a lot of cicadas. It could be as many as a million per acre. Here in Maryland, we are getting ready for the emergence of brood X, or 10, of the 17-year periodical cicadas. Periodical cicadas are only found in Eastern North America. And there are different groups, or broods as they're called, and they appear in different places uh, or times. They usually follow a 13 or 17-year life cycle. More on that later. Some people don't like cicadas very much. Maybe it's because they look kind of creepy with their big red eyes and they are very loud, but they don't bite or sting. They don't even fly very well. In fact, their only defense is sheer numbers. I think they're cool. So after living underground for 17 years, the nymphs or the young cicadas begin crawling out of the ground and up trees or any other vertical surface they can find. There they complete their transition by molting to become adults. The, an adult cicada has only one purpose, to find a mate, and for the female to lay her eggs. The adults will then die off with the job done. After a few weeks, the eggs will, uh, the nymphs will, the eggs will hatch and the nymphs will drop from the tree branches and burrow into the ground. By coming out all at once, the cicadas increase the chances that some of them will survive to mate. So many come out that all the animals feast on them until they are stuffed full of cicadas. Many animals enjoy the feast. Birds, turtles, frogs, snakes, raccoons, bats, dogs, other bugs, even people sometimes. And still there are cicadas left to mate and to ensure that the next generation of cicada lives on. So why do they only emerge every 17 years? There are some species, the periodical cicadas, that emerge every 13 years. Scientists don't know for sure, but they do have a few theories. Some think cicadas evolved with such a long life cycle to avoid predators. Most predators don't live that long. So for example, the bird population may go up during the cicada emergence year because there is so much food. But by the time the cicadas return uh, the next time, the bird population has probably dropped down to smaller numbers. Another interesting thing is that both 13 and 17 are prime numbers. 
meaning that they can only be divided by themselves and one. How could this help cicadas to survive? Well, if there are a lot of both predators and prey at the same time, it's bad news for the cicadas. There will be lots of hungry predators waiting for them when they emerge. But if the cicadas emerge when there are not many predators, they have a much better chance of living long enough to mate. What could happen if their life cycle was, let's say, 12 years long? If cicadas emerged every 12 years, any predator that had a life cycle that can divide into 12, like two, three, four, or six, could be around at the time when the cicadas emerge from the ground. There would be more chance that a hungry predator would be waiting. But if a life cycle is 13 or 17 years long, the predator's life cycle would also have to be 13 or 17 years long. The odds are much less. Some scientists also think that their life cycles keep the different broods from emerging at the same time and interbreeding, which would change the life cycles for some and then reduce the number of cicadas that would emerge all at once in the next cycle. So for example, if a 13-year cicada bred with a 17-year cicada, some of their offspring might emerge at 14 or 15 years. And if only a few emerge, they get all eaten up and none of them are left to mate. So 17 years is a long time, especially for insects. I bet 17 years ago, some of you weren't even born yet. This is me and my daughters in 2004, 17 years ago, and we were really enjoying the cicadas, but now they're all grown up. Here are some things that happened that were going on in 2004. The last time the cicadas uh, from brood 10 emerged. George W. Bush won his second term of office. Mark Zuckerberg started a new company called Facebook. Ken Jennings won over two and a half million dollars on Jeopardy. Donald Trump became a reality TV star on The Apprentice. The most popular song was Yeah by Usher. And some popular films were Shrek 2, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Spider-Man 2, and The Incredibles. Ask the grown-ups you know what they were doing in 2004. One thing you'll probably notice, you'll definitely notice about the cicadas is their ear piercing song. Male cicadas sing to attract mates and sometimes many cicadas get together to make a chorus that can be really loud. So let's hear what it sounds like. Imagine listening to that all day long. You might not have to imagine, it's coming. Now that we've learned a little bit about cicadas, I'm going to show you how to make a cicada friend. Okay, so here are the materials you will need to make our cicada craft today. First, you will need three black pipe cleaners, a black sharpie, two red or orange and one black bead, a uh, craft stick, you will need a uh, recycled pl plastic package or some clear packing tape to make the wings. You will also need uh, scissors and a hole puncher as well as a uh, pencil and some scrap paper. Some optional materials would be uh, some colored markers and a ruler. You don't really need those. All 
All right, the first thing we want to do is thread the three beads onto the pipe planer, the first pipe planer, with the black one in the middle. The red beads are going to be our eyes. Okay, so you want them to be just about in the center. Okay, and now we are going to uh, wrap this around uh, the, the craft stick. With the beads up top at the very end of the craft stick. Okay, when you've got just a little bit at the end, just twist them around a little bit just to get them to stay and let them stick out for the legs. We're going to tighten this up and put this right to the end. So that is our cicada head. All right, now we're going to wrap our second craft stick just below the first. Let's find the center point so our legs are kind of even. All right. You can always readjust it if you need to, if it's not coming out the way you want it. Okay, and then we'll just twist those around on the back just so it'll stay better. Twist. And we're going to push them up together here so it's nice and tight. Okay, and there we go with our second set of legs. Okay. We're going to set this aside for a minute while we make our wings. So we are going to start our wings uh, by just drawing them on a white sheet of paper. Uh, any scrap paper you might have around. So the wings should be about two, two and a half inches long. And they're kind of oval in shape. And they're probably about, they're probably about an inch wide maybe. No, probably three quarters of an inch. So we're just going to do this freehand just the best we can. So it's kind of like a D, but the one side does have a little bit of a curve to it. And then the other side has got a little bit more of a curve. I'm not sure I really like that. That's okay, I can do it over. So let me try one again. So there's our first curve. This one's a little bit longer. And then a little bit more curved on the other side. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, and now we're gonna draw some of the pattern on the wings. So first it's got sort of a little section here. And then it's got a little something here. And it's got some kind of funny little things here that kind of change direction a little bit, do a little loop. These don't have to be perfect. I imagine every cicada has a slightly different pattern on it. And then we're just gonna do some connecting here. And maybe one more up here. I think that'll work. You can always erase it if you don't like it. You can redo it, but I think that will work. All right, now we need the material for our wings. So I'm gonna set this aside for a moment until we're ready for it. So you have two choices for making the wings. You can either use uh, the plastic packaging 
if you have anything in your recycling or if you have anything around or if you don't you can use clear uh, plastic uh, packing tape so I'm going to show you how to do both we will start with the clear uh, packaging so it might be good to have a grown-up help help you cut this out if you've ever tried to open packages you know sometimes you can end up with a little sharp edge we don't want anyone to cut themselves but I found it's actually pretty easy to work with plastic packaging once you've got it cut out and probably you're only going to need maybe a three by three piece so this is probably a little bigger than I need that's okay so here's our plastic packaging now it's all ready for tracing so let's see let me show you what we're going to do with the packing tape in case you don't have uh, the clear packaging so we're just going to take a good length of of the packing tape maybe six inches or so i'm not really measuring that either and we're just going to try as neatly as we can to fold it in half and try to do it without too many ripples. Well, there's a few ripples, but I think I can make that work. So it's not perfect, but I think it will be good enough. So we will make wings with each of these. And we'll have two sets of wings and decide which ones we want to use. So all we're going to do is trace the wings onto our clear plastic with a Sharpie. pattern whoops moved a little bit all right so there's one wing now we want to do the other wing which should be a mirror image so all we're going to do is Turn over your plastic and just do it on the other side. It's see-through, so it should work just fine. All right, so we have our first set of wings. And now we're gonna try this out on our clear packing tape. So it is a little trickier trying to find a spot that doesn't have uh, too much of a wrinkle on it. I could just try doing it again, but I'm gonna just try to make do with what I got. All right, we got our one side. Let's see if we can find a spot for our other side. Yeah, I think that'll fit all right.
All right. Now we have our two sets of wings. We only need one of them, but we'll look at how they are different and how each of uh, our plastics work for wings. Right now we just need to cut out our wings. So once you uh, get the plastic packaging cut out from the plastic and you have a clear sheet, it's really not that hard to work with. It, it cuts out pretty easy. So that wasn't so hard to cut out. Now this is much more flexible, but it still should work fine and it should be pretty easy to cut out. So here we have our two sets of wings. You know, the tape really didn't work too bad. Uh, there were a few ripples, but uh, I seem to be able to work those out uh, once they're cut out. So let's turn our wings so they're the right way. Okay, there we go. So it's going to be like this with sort of with the a flatter edge to the outside. So the flatter edge to the outside. So that's what our wings are going to, uh, how they're going to be arranged. At this point, if you like, you can add a little bit of coloring uh, to them. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do this over top of uh, the sheet just so I don't get any uh, marker on my table. So there are a couple of different ways you can do this. Uh, if you look at uh, the pictures of the cicadas, it looks like they have a little bit of uh, orange to the outside. So you could add a little bit of orange here. Another thing you could do is add some light coloring to the wings just by coloring in like the whole thing. Oh, okay, that didn't work so well. Don't do it like this. This you should do on the opposite side of where your black Sharpie is not on the same side as the sharpie so we learn there i 
And now you just want to blot this a little bit just with the tissue, just uh, to make it just a little bit lighter. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This is kind of a mess, but that's all right. We we'll use the other wings. So we'll put those aside from now. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, put holes in the tops of the wings so we can attach them. So it's going to be the top here where these two meet together. So where's my hole puncher? And it's right here. Okay, you may want to take this to a window so you can get better light to see just where you're punching. I think I'm good here. Okay, so I have my first hole. And now let's do the other one. All right, so now we have the holes in the wings. All right, now we can attach them to our friend. So we're just going to thread the pipe cleaner through these two holes. So you wanna make sure they're uh, still having the uh, orange part to the outside. And we want to make sure it's as centered as we can. Okay. And we'll have to readjust the wings a little bit once we get them on. So I'm actually going to put the wings up here about where the first two pipe cleaners meet. And we're just gonna twist around underneath and then we're gonna wrap around down below the second pipe cleaner. And we're gonna twist the legs together and then put them out there. And let's fix our wings. We're just going to spread them out, sort of push them into place. Okay, so we're here we have our wings. Now we are going to use our Sharpie to just color in the rear end of the cicada onto the craft stick. We're just going to make a dome shape. And we're going to color that in. And I'm also going to color in a little bit on the front end, just in case that's sticking out a little bit. It's not so obvious. Nah, we'll do it underneath too. All right, we are almost done. So now we're just going to adjust the wings and the legs so they have their best positioning. So maybe we'll bend up the legs a little bit, put it underneath, maybe a little bend there, we'll bend here so they can stand up. Well, then there, there we go. And there we have our cicada friend.
If you want to learn more about cicadas and help scientists track when they emerge, then you can download the Cicada Safari app from your Apple or Android App Store. Now with this app, you can track where you, there have been uh, cicada sightings in your area. There will be a map and you can add to that map. If you see a cicada and you take a picture of it, you can upload it with your location so the scientists will know where there have been cicada sightings. So I hope you will give that a try. If you would like some more information about cicadas, there are some wonderful websites uh, with a lot of information. Uh, a good one is Cicada Mania. Another one is uh, made by the University of Connecticut. It's the 2021 Periodical Cicada Emergence, especially about Brood X, Brood 10. And also the University of Maryland has a page for its Cicada Crew. So all the pictures I've used today are either pictures I've taken myself or they're pictures I've gotten from one of our online resources. It is the Encyclopedia Britannica Image Quest, and they have a lot of great images that you can use for any project or report where you're looking for a good photo. Well, I hope you're excited to see these cicadas this year. Remember, they are mostly harmless. Young trees may become damaged when female cicadas lay their eggs in the branches, but overall, cicadas are good for our environment. The emergence holes help aerate the soil. They provide food for lots of animals, and even when they decompose, they return a lot of nutrients to the soil, which helps the plants grow. All right. Remember, the library has lots of books you can order in our catalog and pick up through our curbside service. And please check the library's website, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel for more great events and programs. Bye now.